guys, I'm Justine Griffin. I'm a musician. I do live looping and performing in Ableton Live. Uh, I get this question a lot about how to automatically arm a track for recording so that when you select it with your, let's say you have uh, like an APC40 or a push MIDI controller, when you select the track, it's going to automatically arm it there at the bottom. So, so the default state for Ableton is when you select a different track, you have to actually click this record arm button or use a MIDI controller and hit that button to actually arm it for recording, which for me, when I do live looping, I need to be able to switch tracks as quickly as possible and start recording uh, to keep time with the song. So for me, I need it to automatically arm because it removes that extra button press in there. Luckily, it's a really super easy fix. You're just gonna put a text file into your Ableton preferences folder and it will automatically arm to the different tracks. So what you wanna do, you're gonna open up your file browser or finder if you're on Mac. If you're on Windows, your path is going to be users, username, whatever that is, app data, roaming, Ableton, and then click on whatever version of live you're using and then click on preferences. Go ahead and open up notepad and if you're on Mac, use text editor. You're gonna create a new document. You're gonna title it options.txt and save it to this folder. So when you open it up, it's gonna be blank. You're gonna type dash enable arm on selection. Make sure it looks exactly like that. No spaces. And then file, save. So now you can close out of this and you're gonna reboot Ableton. And when you reboot it, it should be working. So you can switch to the different tracks. Okay, so Ableton is back open again. So now when I select the different tracks with my, I'm just using a mini controller. When you select the different tracks, now it is automatically arming the tracks for recording and then you can just hit your button to record. And same with, if you're just using a mouse, you can just click on the different tracks and you are good to go. So yeah, I hope this helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And I also stream on Twitch three days a week right now uh, doing musical performances. So if you wanna come by there sometime, my schedule and the link to my channel will be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video.